Hi everyone and welcome to Organizational Leadership 4000, the third reflective seminar in our series, which is about the transforming self and learning how to engage in the process of self-transformation. By the time that you're in this class, you've probably already had some experience with Organizational Leadership 3000 and 3050. That means that the diagrams that you've seen in other classes will still be present in this class. The main difference is going to be that you're focusing on the last phases of those theoretical models for reflection. So when you've looked at the models before, you may have had to focus on just one side of the diagram, or you may have focused at the beginning of a process of reflection. In Organizational Leadership 4000, you're looking at the end of that process. Remember once again that in Learning Module 4 of our course, you're going to be doing a discussion posting about a film, and you'll want to plan ahead as to how you're going to actually be able to see that film. We've let you know once again how the films are available through Netflix or Amazon or available for rental. In this course, the two films that we are going to use to look at the idea of self-transformation and becoming a transforming self are Dances with Wolves and Working Girl. If you're familiar with Dances with Wolves, then you know that there's a main character in that film played by Kevin Costner who goes through a dramatic process of self-transformation. In Working Girl, there's a similar process which happens for a young woman who is working as a secretary and then eventually ends up having an insight into the ways in which the business world works. And it sort of causes her to become self-transformed by the end of the film. So when you're looking at which movie you would like to pick, by all means, please feel free to choose between these two. The learning outcomes for Organizational Leadership 4000 are as follows. You're going to need to critically evaluate your own assumptions and your values and past experiences. You're going to have to express your own self-awareness now that you've gone through this process of reflective learning and engage in a set of self-critiques. You're going to be critiquing your own assumptions and beliefs and you're going to be trying to measure your own capacity for self-transformation. Now that you've been through a series of courses where self-transformation is one of the major themes, reflecting on past learning and then thinking about how you can learn better is a major theme, that's what you're going to be writing about. You're also going to have to document specific responses to situations and events that will show reflection on your own beliefs and reflection on the beliefs of your wider community and context. So the main idea here is that in this course you're developing that final level of self-awareness and self-transformation. Remember once again that during the organizational leadership courses you do have a series of introductory assignments to do during this first learning module. Make sure that you're sending out your first discussion tool where you introduce yourself to the rest of the class. Please send out your assessment tool, which is the uh, quiz where you have a few short answer questions just letting us get to know you and showing that you know how the assessment tool works. Also do the assignment tool. That's the place where you are able to upload documents and make sure that you're sending out your first mail tool, which should include your contact phone number just in case I need to reach you during the course. We do try to call you if you haven't logged in for a certain number of days, just to remind you that you should log into the class. And make sure that you are looking at the calendar tool. The calendar tool is one of the places where you'll see which week of the course we are in and what's due at the end of that week. And remember that each of these tools within our course management system has a symbol that corresponds with it. These symbols can be found along the left side of the course. Discussion tools are the blue thumbtack. Assessment tool is the yellow piece of paper with the watch in front of it because assessment tools are timed. The assignment tool is a yellow piece of paper with a ruler. The mail tool looks like an open yellow envelope. And the calendar tool sort of looks like an old-fashioned wall calendar with one day that's popping out a little bit. It looks like it's probably Thursday. Now let's think once again about how the reflective seminars and the capstone work together. At this point, you've been through the first and second phases of these reflective seminars. So you start out by studying yourself in terms of how your emotions, feelings, and ideas uh, infect your learning, deal with your learning. You've looked at the idea of yourself in a broader context. You've considered how you've had to interact with social influences, environment that you're working in. 
During this Reflective Seminar Organization Leadership 4000, you're doing the third phase of this process. You're thinking about how you can learn and adapt and change over time. You're reflecting on different changes that you've had to go through in your work environment or different schools of thought that may have been in competition in different times of your careers, whether it's a military career, community service career, or being on the job. And then finally in the capstone, you're going to be reflecting on how your prior learning and experience relates to your overall degree program and doing some reflective writing about that. So remember, in this first week, do that first discussion, send in your first mail tool, make sure that you're sending in your assignment tool and completing that first assessment tool. You want to make sure that you show your presence in the class right away and get credit for having logged in and made the presence requirements that you have to do. Now let's think a little bit about a beginning story as the theme for Organizational Leadership 4000. Keegan and Leahy are two of the theorists who you've seen before in Organizational Leadership 3000 and 3050. They have a particular way of describing a situation that works really well for our class on self-transformation. What it is is the story of two people who are working together at Whole Cloth Incorporated, a retail clothing company. The CEO is named Thomas Schmidt, and he's been working with someone named Richard Hayes, who's a high potential subordinate who Thomas has been admiring for his general work ethic over the course of the development of their company. And you're going to be able to read through this particular story about Thomas and Richard and see how the way in which the company has been developing over time may end up having some influence on, you know, how they need to make decisions. They may have to make some difficult personnel decisions. They may have to engage in some cutbacks. There's changes that are happening for this company. And so they are going to have to end up working with ideas to try and see how they can do some things in a different way. They're probably going to have to uh, stop using some older schools of thought and get into some new schools of thought. So Richard and Thomas are kind of in this dialogue about what's been happening and what they've learned over time being in business and what they may end up needing to do differently. You know, can you ride out a storm in the business world or will you end up having to actually change ships or change schools of thought, change approach? That's what this particular example is about. So when you're looking at your own stories, try and think specifically about times in your past experience when you have had to change your approach, change your schools of thought, change your habits, change your assumptions. Becoming self-transforming or being able to adapt to new circumstances is exactly what Organizational Leadership 4000 is all about. So make sure that you're focusing on yourself during the class as changing, as becoming a dynamic, developing learner, someone who's able to adapt. The whole idea of organizational leadership for our classes is that you're looking at theories of leadership and you're reflecting on your own experience, looking backwards at things that you've gone through before, and considering what that means in terms of things like becoming adaptable, becoming self-transforming. So hopefully you're going to enjoy this class very much. It's great to see you in class. Take care. Bye-bye.